What is up everyone, Player One here. I am going to make my bowl game predictions for all 41 matchups. Uh, it is December 4th when I am recording this. I'm not wasting any time. All the bowl games got announced literally less than 24 hours ago as of recording. I'm not wasting any time because I'm impatient and I want to do it all in one video. So I will be predicting every game here um, from the very first games we see on December 16th all the way to uh, the national championship game, basically, including the playoff games. Now, you might notice from my shirt, I am a Michigan fan. Uh, now, I'm not going to just predict Michigan to win because uh, I'm a Michigan fan. I'm not even making the prediction yet. Um, uh, so, you're gonna. I'm going to explain how I feel about these bigger games and, uh, and, and my reasoning for their picks. With these smaller games that with between teams you don't really care about, I'm just going to kind of make a prediction, throw it out there, and move on. Uh, because, to be fair, a lot of people don't care. And I'm doing this mostly because um, I like to look back and see how correct I was. Um, so that's what we're doing here. So we're going to start out from the very top, December 16th. Um, in the Myrtle Beach Bowl, we got Georgia Southern versus Ohio. I have no idea. I haven't watched either one of these teams. I'm just going to make a prediction and say Georgia Southern wins this one. Um, and there we go. Uh, the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl between Jacksonville State and Louisiana. I'm going to take Jacksonville State. Uh, the Avocados for Mexico Cure Bowl, Miami of Ohio versus Appalachian State. Um, give me Miami of Ohio. Uh, the. I, Isle, what is that? Isleta, Isleta, New Mexico Bowl between New Mexico State and Fresno State. I think Fresno State's a pretty good team, right? I'll, I'll take Fresno State in that one, even though it is the New Mexico Bowl and they are New Mexico State. I'm going to say they lose that one. The, uh, oh, what is that? The Starco Brands LA Bowl, uh, UCLA and Boise State. Um,. UCLA is joining the Big Ten next year. They're not going to be a Michigan opponent right away. They will be in 2025. Um, give me Boise State. The Radiance Technologies Independence Bowl. Cal made a bowl game. They're, they're playing Texas Tech. Ooh, that could be close. I'm going to I'm gonna take Texas Tech in this one. All right, moving on to Monday, December 18th. There's only one game that day. It is the famous Toastery Bowl, Western Kentucky versus Old Dominion. Uh, give me Western Kentucky. On Tuesday, December 19th, uh, the Scooters Coffee Frisco Bowl, uh, UTSA versus Marshall. Uh, let's go Marshall. <laughs> let's go Marshall. I'm going to take Marshall on that one. Uh, Thursday, December 21st, uh, we've got the RoofClaim.com Boca Rotten, Rotten Bowl. South Florida versus Syracuse. Uh, give me South Florida. Friday, December 22nd, the Union Home Mortgage Gasparilla Bowl. Georgia Tech and UCF. Georgia Tech is not a good team, man. Didn't UCF beat Oklahoma State like 45-7 to a few weeks ago, like randomly? Uh, yeah, give me UCF. Uh, there's a bunch of games on December 23rd. That, that is a Saturday after all. Saturday, December 23rd. Um, the 76, what? The 76 Birmingham Bowl. Troy versus Duke. Give me Duke. Uh, the Camellia Bowl. Arkansas State, Northern Illinois. Uh, give me Northern Illinois. The Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. What are these names, bro? James Madison and Air Force. Give me JMU. Give me JMU. Famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Georgia State and Utah State. Uh, I'll go with Georgia State. The 68 Ventures Bowl. South Alabama versus Eastern Michigan. Uh, give me Eastern. The SRS Distribution Las Vegas Bowl. These are some weird names, bro. Utah versus Northwestern. I feel really good about Northwestern this year. I just don't think they can beat Utah. They have had a great year. I'm going to take Utah to win this one. My hair is a mess. Give me Utah. 
uh, the Easy Post Hawaii Bowl. Excuse me, Coastal Carolina and San Jose State. Uh, I'll, I'm going to take Coastal Carolina. Yeah, take Coastal Carolina. I'm going to go with my gut. Uh, Tuesday, December 26th, so there, there won't be any Christmas Day games, thank goodness. Uh, the Quick Lane Bowl, Bowling Green, Minnesota. Give me Minnesota. Uh, the Serve Pro First Responder Bowl, Texas State and Rice. Texas State. Uh, the Guaranteed Rate Bowl, Kansas and, and UNLV. Give me Kansas all the way. Wednesday, December 27th, um, we've got the Military Bowl presented by GoBowling.com, Virginia Tech, and Tulane. Give me Tulane. The Dukes Mayo Bowl between North Carolina and West Virginia. They, they had a chance to put Duke in the Dukes Mayo Bowl, and they, they blew it. Uh, North Carolina, West Virginia. Give me North Carolina, uh, especially if Drake May plays, which I don't think he will. Um, the DirecTV Holiday Bowl, Louisville and USC. Hmm. I I'm curious if US if Caleb Williams will play in the game. You know, like I want to take USC, but like I know how they played this year. Oh man, it seems like a pretty even matchup too. Give me USC. Uh, the Tax Act, Texas Bowl, Texas A&M, Oklahoma State. Yeah, Oklahoma State. Um, Thursday, December twenty eighth, we've got the Wasabi Fenway Bowl. Uh, number 24, SMU versus Boston College. Uh, I'll take SMU in that one. The Bad Boy Mowers Pinstripe Bowl, Rutgers versus Miami. Give me Rutgers. Scarlet Knights. The Pop-Tarts Bowl. Uh, number 18, NC State versus number 25, Kansas State. Uh, I've been impressed with NC State lately, but... Kansas State's also pretty good. I'm going to take NC State, just because I think they've been more impressive. The Valero Alamo Bowl. These are getting harder to predict because I know a little bit more about these teams. Uh, number 14, Arizona. Number 12, Oklahoma. Give me Oklahoma. Friday, December 29th, the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. Number 22, Clemson versus Kentucky. Give me Kentucky. The Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. Number 19, Oregon State versus number 16, Notre Dame. Uh, I'm going to take Oregon State in that one. Uh, the AutoZone Liberty Bowl. Memphis versus Iowa State. Uh, give me Iowa State. The Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. We're getting into some good ones now. Number 9, Missouri versus uh, number 7, Ohio State. Ohio State's going to win this game. 100% going to win this game. Uh, give me Ohio State. I don't know why I say Ohio, 100%. I just I don't feel like they're going to lose that game. Uh, give me Ohio State all the way, even though I'm a Michigan fan. Saturday, December 30th, Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Number 11, Ole Miss. Number 10, Penn State. Hmm. I want to take Penn State because of that defense. Give me Penn State. The trans-perfect Music City Bowl, Auburn and Maryland. Uh, I'm gonna take. Mm, I'm gonna take Auburn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take Auburn. I'm gonna take Auburn in that one. Uh, the Capital One Orange Bowl, number six Georgia versus number five Florida State. Florida State, a lot of people got snubbed, and I understand it completely. They're thirteen and zero. You could argue they're the most deserving. Uh, there's a lot of people arguing about it, how they should have gotten the fourth spot. And I agree. I, I do think that they should have gotten the fourth spot. Uh, they were 13-0. But I also get why they didn't make it. Um, I mean, in my opinion, Bama is a better team than Florida State. But, uh, you know, it, you can't really go based off of opinions. And if you're a Florida State fan, like, I completely get your argument. Like, we're 13-0. We should get it over Alabama. 
I, I completely understand that. Um, and now I understand Alabama's argument, too, where they're like, well, we're better than Florida State. We've got a better and more impressive resume. And again, I agree. Uh, there is really no winner there. Like, that's kind of how it is. And, and you know what? I would argue Georgia's still one of the best four teams in the country. Like, they just lost when there was too many good teams. And you can't, you just, they could not afford to lose. Now, in, in Florida State's case, they didn't lose. Um, but they still got left out. And you know what? I, I really feel like there was no winning when it came to the committee. Uh, you know, all this went down, and they're like, man. If we leave Florida State out, then Alabama fans are going to be crying. Or uh, if you leave Florida State out, then Florida State fans are going to be crying how they went undefeated. And, you know, Alabama, they're going to say SEC bias and all that stuff. And then Alabama, if they get left out, you know, they're going to be like, well, we're better than Florida State. And it'll be the same crying, crying, crying from last year. So there just was no winning. Like no matter what decision they made, there was gonna make make it was gonna make a lot of people upset. Uh, but the th reality is, this is just the way it is. Um, and I feel like they matched Georgia and Florida State up in a way to kind of prove that like Florida State would have lost, I guess. So I don't know if Florida State's gonna want to go out there and and really prove it or just. Or if Georgia, a lot of Georgia's players are even going to play in this game. Like, they, they could be down a lot of players. Georgia's a very good team. Now, Georgia Georgia can be really good even without a bunch of starters. They, they're just that kind of a team. I'm going to take Georgia to win this one. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's going to be somewhat low scoring. And I'm going to say Georgia wins in, uh, in this one. Especially if they're uh, start, starting, if Carson Beck plays and all that stuff, and Florida State is still down to a third-string quarterback. They really didn't look good against Louisville, and again, I understand the argument for Florida State, but the reality is, is they've been, they're the first team out, and Georgia's number six. So they still rank you guys ahead of Georgia, but I know that doesn't make you feel better. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, give me Georgia to win uh, in the Capital One Orange Bowl. Uh, the Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl, Toledo and Wyoming. Give me Toledo. Um, Monday, January 1st. These are the big ones, folks. Well, there's a few other games going on that day. The Ryla Quest Bowl, Wisconsin versus number 13 LSU. This is a big mismatch. LSU, uh, big, big Especially if Jaden Daniels plays, which he might not, but I'm still going to take LSU, uh, realistically. Um, Oregon, man, they got snubbed. They got snubbed. Not necessarily because they, the, the, I'm not saying that they should have gotten in the playoffs. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that their bowl game was a snub. Uh, number eight, Oregon against number 23, Liberty. I understand they needed to give Liberty a game, but against Oregon, give me Oregon, bro. Like, without a doubt, give me Oregon. I bet you Bo Nix plays uh, just to kind of avenge the loss in a way. I know it won't make him feel better, but he might want to be a part of a Fiesta Bowl win. At least it'll end, end his career at Oregon on somewhat high note. Give me Oregon. Uh, the Cheez-It Citrus, Citrus Bowl, um, number 17, Iowa, and number 21, Tennessee. Give me Tennessee. You know what? No. I'm changing it. Give me Iowa. Give me Iowa. Tennessee's garbage. Give me Iowa. All right. These are the big ones. The college football playoff semifinal at the Rose Bowl game presented by Prudential. Is that what it says? And the CFP semifinal at the Allstate Sugar Bowl. The Rose Bowl is number four, Alabama, number one, Michigan. And the Sugar Bowl is number three, Texas, number two, Washington. Texas, Washington. I'm going to talk about this one first. Texas, in my opinion, on Saturday was the best team that played. 
they were completely dominant. They completely destroyed Oklahoma State. They just went up and down the field with Quinn Ewers. They, I believe, are a quiet team. Um, people, a lot of people aren't really talking about them. You know, I think most people really expected them to win that game. But I don't think a lot of people really understood how dominant they were. And they absolutely deserved to be in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, Washington is a team that I have been doubting for weeks. Weeks. I haven't been talking about it on video, but to people I know and people I work with, I've been saying, I don't know about Washington. And me and a lot of people, including Vegas, had Oregon winning that game on, on Saturday. And it makes sense. But here's the thing. Washington went out there and they won the game. While I believe Texas was the best-looking team on Saturday, that doesn't mean that I think they're going to win an Addy uh, or even win the first semifinal game. And there's a part of me that wants to doubt Washington again and take Texas to win it. And there's a part of me that wants to say Washington have keep, continued to prove themselves and it's really hard for me to, to not include them. And I'm going to go with that. Um, I'm done. I am done uh, doubting Washington. Uh, I have doubted them against Oregon State. I doubted them against Oregon the second go around. I doubted them in a couple of other games too. Like, my gut wants me to take Texas. But my brain is kind of telling me, hmm, that's kind of came back to bite you a few times. When, uh, when you, you make yourself look a little silly in front of people you know uh, when you keep taking uh, Washington to lose. I ain't doing it anymore. Give me Washington. Give me Michael Penix and Washington in the national championship game. Rose Bowl. Alabama got in. They were the first, they were the last team in. Uh, by beating Georgia, it allowed Michigan to get to number one after beating Iowa in the Big Ten Championship. I've never seen Michigan rank number one in my life. Uh, I'm 22 years old now. I just had my birthday literally two days ago. <laughs> um, I've never seen it ever. This is a first for me at 22 years old. Alabama, for as long as I have been alive, have been the cream of the crop. They have been the team. They've won more national titles. They put more players in the NFL than anybody else. They have Nick Saban. And they did earn this spot. You know, yesterday I was saying, I don't know if they do. I'm... I've had a really long, I've had a, all day to think about it, and I'm like, Alabama does deserve it. They just do. Um, Michigan, obviously, 13-0. and Beat everybody on their schedule for the second year in a row. Won the Big Ten Championship for the third year in a row. Bama's won the SEC for the second time in three years. Um... And I think, while I think Washington and Texas is going to be like an air show, like it's going to be high scoring, a lot of pass yards, all that kind of stuff, it's a great matchup, in my opinion. Um, and I think it'll be really high scoring. I think Michigan Alabama will be kind of the opposite. I think it'll be a defensive game. I think it'll be low scoring. There are going to be a lot of running the football. Alabama's been in this position plenty of times. They're very comfortable in in these situations. Michigan, I mean, yeah, we were we've also been to this spot the last two years. If you look at 2021 when we went when we made it and you know and on all that, there was kind of just like a a thing like for Michigan, like especially as fans, like we had to play Georgia in the first round. We were what four or something like that no we were we were two we were number two uh the number two seed that year georgia was three because they lost to bama 
um, and Georgia destroyed us. And it was it was it was kind of a thing where like we were just kind of happy to be there, I guess. Like obviously we tried, but we were completely outmatched by Georgia that year. You can go back and watch my 2021 uh you know recap from that game but they lost 34 to 11. the year after that we got back this time undefeated we played tcu and we just made too many mistakes and we lost the game michigan this year has been a very mistake free team and alabama at the beginning of the year wasn't but as of late they have been a very clean team like I said, I think this is going to be a run-heavy game. And I think it's really going to come down to which defense can get the job done. I think both teams have great defenses. Statistically speaking, that is the case. Offensively, I think when it comes to running the football, Alabama has the edge quarterback-wise with Jalen Milrow over McCarthy, although McCarthy can run the football very well. I would give the edge to Jalen Milrow just by a little bit. Passing the football, I believe J.J. McCarthy is a better passer than Jalen Milrow. And Bama hasn't gotten to this spot by passing the football. They've gotten here by running the football, running with Jalen Milrow, throwing when he needs to, and great defense. Michigan has been similar. Great defense. Uh, you know, passing the ball when they need to, mostly running the ball. McCarthy can run. It's a little bit different, but similar philosophies, I would say, for both teams. And, and it's the, the difference here is that Alabama's been in this spot plenty of times. And they're very capable of winning a national title. title. I've seen it many times in my lifetime alone. Michigan, on the other hand, has never even been to a national title game in my lifetime. The last one was 1997. I was born in 2001. This is the biggest game in Michigan football history. It is. Um, and I'm not, I'm not the type of guy to trash talk. I will trash talk certain teams and only after we beat them. Um, usually when I come on here and I do post-game reactions to Michigan football, it's usually just talking about how great Michigan played or how I feel about how Michigan played. And, and I'm always brutally honest about it. I don't hold back. There's only a couple of teams that I actually like to trash talk to, and that's Ohio State, obviously. And Michigan State, just because in-state rivalry, I've always hated Michigan State, even though they're trash. Um, here's the thing. Alabama's been here before. Alabama, I think, is probably going to be better prepared. I'm not saying Michigan won't be prepared. I think they will be. But... I'm going to take Alabama. The reason for that is because until Michigan can win a semifinal game, you got to think, they are 0-2 now. They're 0-2. They lost to TCU last year. I know it's a different year. I know. And I know you could argue Michigan's a better team, and I think they are than last year, and certainly the year before that. I just can't predict Michigan to win a game like this when they have never done it. It's kind of, I have to see it to believe it, or I guess, a yeah, a see it to, to believe it kind of a deal. Alabama, on the other hand, has been here plenty of times, and they know what to expect, and they've won these games, and they've won national championships, and... It's very difficult for me to vote against that, despite what Michigan has done and despite where Michigan has gotten to. It's very difficult for me to 
vote for them to win. Can they win? Yes. Any team can beat any team at this point. People are going to have their opinions. The media is going to favor Alabama, obviously. Uh, most people will probably favor Alabama. Michigan is a one or two point favorite in this game. And the matchup predictor does favor Michigan as well. I think that's crazy. Um, I just, I, I can't predict a Michigan win when they can't even, when they haven't even won a semifinal game ever. Uh, it's a see it to believe it kind of a deal for me. I did the same thing when we were losing to Ohio State every year. I I said, I ain't, I am never going to predict. I said it after, I think, the 2018 or 19 game. I don't remember what it was. I'm never going to predict Michigan to beat Ohio State. Um, I'm never going to predict Michigan to beat Ohio State um, until they beat Ohio State. And, I mean, they ended up doing it eventually. And ever since then, I, 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 I think this past year when I made my Michigan prediction before the season started, I had them going 12-0 and and going to the Big Ten. I, I think against Iowa, I said Iowa or Wisconsin, one of the two, and had them winning. So I am 12-0 and or 13-0 and on predictions for Michigan this year. And I don't think that's going to change. I'm going to, I'm taking Alabama to win this game. That's how, that's how I feel. Uh, it's not a lack of confidence in Michigan's ability to win the game or talent. I think Michigan and, and Alabama talent wise and strategy wise and game plan and coaching, and all that stuff are pretty close to even. Um, I don't know which one is better, but, uh, again, it's going to come down to me. It, it comes down to experience in these situations. It comes down to believe it before I see, uh, or see it to believe it rather. And that's just really how I feel about it. Um, I'm going to take Alabama to win this game. And I predict that the national title game will be Alabama and Washington. The four seed and the two seed. And I'm not going to predict that game. Um, because we don't even know if it's going to happen yet. You know, Michigan could win. Texas could win. It could be completely different. Or it could be exactly what I predict. Or it could be Alabama and Texas again. I mean, that would be, you know, that'd be part two. That's absolutely a possibility. I think any one of these teams can beat any one of these other teams. Um, but as of right now, that's my prediction. Alabama and Washington in the national title game. And that's my prediction. That's my opinion. Uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and, um, you know, we'll see how I do. <laughs> we'll see how I do when it comes to um, these uh, predictions. Uh, by the time these games are all said and done, I'll probably tally them up. And Depending on how accurate my predictions are or how right I am, uh, I'll brag or, you know, I'll quietly <laughs> sit in the dark. Um, and, uh, oh, my screen sh shut off. Uh, uh, and yeah, that's just got kind of how I feel right now, uh, about it all. Now we've got about a month, we got about 30 days or so before the semifinal games, but we have, it's now December 4th. Uh, so we got about 12 days or just under two weeks before bowl season officially starts. We have army Navy next week. I'm going to take army to win that game. Uh, so there you go. There's my army Navy prediction. Uh, give me army. Um, uh, but yeah, that's my predictions for bowl season. Thank you guys for watching and, uh, I'll see you in 30 days, I suppose.